look a little bit like red fraggle today and I'm okay with that. So I originally had a different plan for today's daily December vlog, but that completely fell through. So I'm going to have to do that another day when the thing that I'm waiting for arrives, mysterious, vague dialogue. Um, not dialogue, I'm not talking to, well, no, I'm talking to you, but you're not saying anything, so this is really more of a monologue. Anyway, I polled Twitter, and there was a few suggestions that were thrown about, um, one of which was about tag videos, and then I remembered that my friend Christina had done a tag video called My First Time, which is not <laughs> what it sounds like, but I was like, oh, okay, those are always fun, and I can probably do that super quick, so I have my laptop my tiny little Edie laptop. I love her very much. Right here. So I'm just going to read the questions right off and answer naturally. Okay. What was your first job? My first job, which I was technically a file clerk when I was too young to legally work. Um, my dad had his own private doctor's office when uh, we were his own private practice when we were growing up in Aberdeen, Washington, tiny little podunk puddle of a town. Um, however, uh, while we were there, um, we didn't really get allowances. We just sort of did chores around the house and occasionally at the office, like nothing like super big, but like cleaning, um, cleaning up, vacuuming. Um, I did filing, which I calling myself a file clerk is actually really loose because I was like maybe eight years old and it was really, they would tell me how to find the file. Like I knew the system and they'd be like, Hey, can you pull so-and-so's chart? And I'd be like, okay. And I'd pull the charts and then I'd put them back when they were done with them. Uh, but it was really fun. I kind of treated it like a treasure hunt. What was your first car? My first car was a Chevy Corsica. Um, my sister and I both owned it. Technically it was hers, but uh, we were going to share, like, unluckiest car in the freaking world. And when we were driving over to Seattle from Spokane on the I-90, um, it caught fire spontaneously. Apparently the fuel uh, injector or whatnot got all plugged and it just started leaking into the engine. We had an engine fire and I found out what fire lines were because if you are between them, it means you have to let it burn because absolutely no fire trucks are coming to help you. It was horrible. First person to text you today. That uh, would be my friend Bethany, who I've known since high school, who I love and adore. Uh, who was your first grade teacher? Mrs. Hunter. She's a very, very sweet woman. Um, I recall her son, who was my same age, was a jerk, but we were in first grade, so... Um, very sweet one. She actually was the first teacher to encourage me to write. Of course, at the time, most of, it was not really great writing. Um, I remember writing a lot of um, poems about mice, which she had me read in front of the class, which looking back is really embarrassing. They were not good poems. I'm, I'm not sure why I was writing poems. Um, I was really into the Brian Jakes books at the time and Wind in the Willows and whatnot, lots of talking animals, so I imagine that's why it was about mice. Um, I'm not sure why there were poems. I think I was starting to discover the joy of rhyming things. Um, which is funny, because now I write songs uh, occasionally, which I guess is a kind of poetry, but in general I tend to really hate poetry, so... <laughs> when did you go on your first ride on an airplane? I believe that was shortly after I was born. I'm not entirely sure. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? My first best friend was a boy named Bish Larrick. Um, I think his mother was German. He has a very fantastic name. Um, we do not still talk, unfortunately. I don't think I've spoken to him much since grade school. Um, we just sort of drifted apart. Uh, where was your first sleepover? Um, it was my my childhood home, um, I had, I mean, I guess, I, I mean, I had people sleep over, so I don't know if that counts, um, but I remember I made friends really easy, even though I didn't, I didn't really have a place in a tier, I mean, I wasn't super popular, but I made friends really easily, uh, in grade school, and, well, I guess I, I kind of still do, not the point, not the point, um, but 
just because I made, they got along with me did not mean they got along with each other. And I learned that the hard way. So I had 13, 13 girls over for one of my birthdays. I can't remember which one it was. All hanging out in my finished basement playroom or whatever. And they were at each other's throats and it was horrible. Who was the first person you talked to today? Like, talk, talk? Um, that would be M, who you've seen in my live stream. Whose wedding were you in the first time? Uh, my friends, Curtis and Kristen, um, who I knew in high school, who are having another baby, so congrats to them. Um, what was the first thing you did this morning? I got on Twitter. What was the first concert you ever went to? Um, I, I, I think my parents probably took me to a concert when I was a kid, um, but I don't count those because I didn't go there of my own volition and I clearly don't remember them. But I do remember going to uh, Bumper Shoot, which is a um, festival, it's a music festival up in Seattle. Um, my very first, my very first year, and I got to see, um, I think it was the Decemberists were the first people I saw play at that festival, and then later I got to see Iggy Pop. First broken bone. I have never broken a bone. First piercing, um, that would be my first lobe piercing, which I got when I was 18. First movie you remember seeing. Um... My parents were really good about not taking us to a movie when we were super young, uh, so we didn't ruin things for the other kids. We like would wait for the VHS to come out. Yes, VHS. Oh. And I believe it was Lion King. At least this is the one I first remember being in the theaters for. And I remember because we didn't, we saw it like I think the second week it had been out or something and the kid in front of me had seen it before. And he turns to his little brother and says, close your eyes the dad is about to die and I remember making such a <gasps> when was your first detention um first or second grade uh we had ice cream at we had ice cream sold at lunches like it was a dollar for some ice cream and I had snitched a 20 out of my mom's purse not really understanding the whole currency of it um because i really wanted ice cream and i they called me on it because they didn't believe that a first or second grader would have a 20 on them to buy ice cream that their mom gave them which to be fair that was my bad um and i got in trouble for it a lot of trouble i had sticky fingers as a kid not for long it was a very short period of time but i was actually pretty good at it for a while who was your first roommate Technically, it was my sister because we had a, an apartment together, but I'm not going to count that because we were related, so technically we'd lived together before. So my first roommate would be my friends Liz and Mike. Um, they were awesome and fantastic, and I had... They were really awesome roommates, um, but I ended up moving out at the time because... I was going to school in downtown Seattle and they lived in Renton and it was one hell of a commute when I was at school for like 16 hours a day. What were the first lessons you ever took? Um, I'm going to assume that means anything outside of school. Uh, and that would probably be Finnish lessons. My dad tried to teach us Finnish for a little while and I would like to say that I remember some of it. I think I remember one word, which is istu, which means to sit, um, like a, a command, um, because my dad would use it all the time. Uh, but that's all I remember. <laughs> Actually, I think it's even something like istua. Who was the first person beauty related on YouTube you ever watched? Um, Michelle Fan, or is it Michelle Fawn? Crap, I can't remember. Um, but she had some Disney princess makeup tutorials as well as um, a Tim Burton inspired look and I just thought it was really pretty and fantastic. Anyway, that is 
today's daily December video thing, and it's longer than normal, and I feel a little bad about that, but not enough to apologize.